I'm back again with stuff I find interesting, so I'm just gonna show you that I've got, I'm gonna go into my sound settings. Oh, that's notification, sound settings. As you see, the music is turned on. And so the background music here is obviously. I'm going to go into registry editor. I'm told video I have not completed the initial setup program. Do that by going to system down to initialize and changing it to zero. When it's one, it means you have completed initial setup. When it's zero, it means you have not. So, make it zero. I'm going to reboot the initial setup program will run. And it will run pretty much how you'd expect it to run. I'm sure we've all seen the initial setup program at some point. Let me just turn this back on. We'll turn on. Come on. Alright. Let's turn this back on. And here you hear the music, and you see English United Kingdom and all that crap. Now the initial setup program is not actually going to be the default settings because um, I just told it hey, having the initial setup, so it just gives me the thing that has already set. But essentially, right, you boot into it. You would normally play the video, but I've got fast reset enabled, so it doesn't actually play the video. It's updating the database. Take a while, try to speed it up. Okay, let's boot it up. So, so yeah, this brand new thing will step how you'd expect it to. Now, if we head over the settings and we actually turn off the background music, like so. You hear absolutely nothing, but you expect to hear absolutely nothing. You turned off the system music, right? But now if we go into registry editor and we tell we have not completed the initial setup. Alright, config system initialize. We change it to zero. Like so. And then we reboot the console. What will happen is once we peel us away, no music. Well, I find that really interesting. You may think that's really simple. I mean, you turned off the system music. Why would music be in the initial setup? Well, the reason why music would be in the initial setup would be because, well, yeah, you turned it off, but you can't actually have it turned off when you're running the initial setup under intended conditions right if you actually reset the console it's going to reset all your settings including the fact that you turned off the system music and so i would have thought sony wouldn't have even bothered coding in the check to say oh did they turn off the system music oh they turned off the system music don't play the music but they did on the initial set for some reason i have no idea why because 
you can't have it turned off when you're running the initial setup because if you were to reset your console, it would reset the setting you had saying it's turned off. The only reason why I'm able to do it right now is because I'm just simply telling the reader, hey, I haven't ran an initial setup yet when I actually have. Um, so I was just calling the initial setup program whenever I turn it on, but this would not be doable under normal circumstances. Only if you have like, only if you go into the registry and modify shit. You can't even modify unless you have Hankaku, so. I don't really get why they did this. I think it's pretty interesting what they did. So yeah, I'm just gonna run through here. You'll see there's absolutely no background music, which would be impossible under normal circumstances. So yeah, it actually respects your settings to not have any background music in the initial setup, even though the initial setup will never run when you have that setting turned on. Because in order to run the initial setup, normally you have to wipe the entire console, which would remove your setting to turn off the initial setup to turn off the background music so but whatever as far as I know there's actually no um no default setting where it's default off is either so yeah anyway that's about it for this video I thought it was a bit interesting thank you all for watching